Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 52 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about timestamp functions in PySpark. So especially we will be discussing about current timestamp function, two timestamp function. And also we will be discussing about hours, minutes and seconds functions also that will help you to work with timestamps. In our previous videos, we have discussed about date functions. So from this video, we are starting timestamp functions actually. So in Python, we have something called or in PySpark, we have something called timestamp type. Okay. The default format of that type is yyyy that means year, then hyphen, then mm month, then hyphen, then dd date, then space, hh means hours, small mm means minutes, this is seconds and milliseconds. So this is the default format of timestamp in PySpark. Okay. So if I want you to practically show you that, let's try to use this current timestamp function using which I can print current system timestamp and I can practically show you the format of the timestamp what it is printing. So let me practically explain you thus. Let's go to browser. So this is my Databricks workspace and here I have a notebook called timestamp notebook. So here let's try to create a data frame using range function by mentioning range value 2, 2 as a parameter to range function. You know that from my previous videos this range function will create a data frame with the id column so till this number incrementing 1 1 number. So let me hit shift enter to execute this command and if you see the data frame what it prints it will be having id column and it has a values 0 and 1. The reason is we supplied 2 as a parameter into range so that means 2 values it will be taken as a rows. Okay. So now let's assume this is our data frame. So on top of this data frame using with column function I want to add a new column called current timestamp. Okay. So I'm adding a new column called current timestamp. And this column should have data of the current timestamp. Whatever the system timestamp at this moment, that information it should have. So for that, we can use current timestamp function. So before using that, we have to import that from PySpark dot. So let's try to import that from PySpark dot SQL dot functions. Let's try to import current two timestamp function. So now here, sorry, current timestamp function. So here, let's try to use this current timestamp function and this entire code will generate a new data frame. So let's try to save it in a data frame called df1. Then finally, let me try to show data frame, df1 data frame. And also let's try to print the schema of this data frame one. I don't want to print this data frame now, remove that. So now let me hit shift enter to execute this code. And if you closely observe, we got a new column called current timestamp and here we got current system timestamp information. But here the data is not completely visible. So to make it completely visible, let's try to use this truncate parameter of show function. And here let's try to pass value false to it. Let me hit shift enter to execute this code now. Now you can clearly see it printed current timestamp and if you see here this is year then month then date then hours minutes seconds and milliseconds. So this is the default format and also if you closely observe you can see this current timestamp column data type is timestamp type. Okay. So that means using this current timestamp I can get current timestamp in this format. Okay. So now let's go to presentation. There is a second function called to timestamp. What it will do is it will convert any string into timestamp type but that string should have some information that date and time information and you have to specify in which format that has. So let me practically show you this. So let's go back to presentation and here what I will be doing. Let's try to on top of this data frame one. Let's try to add a new column using with column function and let's try to name this column as maybe uh, timestamp. Okay. I'm just using timestamp as a column name. Okay. Timestamp in string maybe. Okay. Timestamp in string. So and here I am supplying value. So using lit function. So lit is a function using which 
you can pass some literal as a values to uh, the, that means it will generate a complete column with literal that means with static content so here uh, maybe i am using like a 12th it's not the default format right 12 that means 12th uh, month maybe 25th day and then maybe 20 22 uh, then hours maybe 8 then here i will use dot so i'm using all dots and i'm using months and then dates and years okay and maybe 10 seconds sorry 10 minutes 3 seconds okay so this is what i have so now let me try to save this in data frame called df2 and then finally let's try to use df2 dot show and let's try to pass this truncate equals to false to print the data completely and df2 dot print schema so let's try to use this print schema function also to see the schema so let me hit shift enter to execute this command and now if you examine the results here you see we got that timestamp in string column and also if you see the column data type is string now for some reason i want to convert this column into timestamp type how to do that to do that as i said i should use two underscore timestamp function so let me practically use that and show you so what i will be doing it here is let's try to use this data frame 2 dot with the column and then here i am using the same column let's copy so i want to take the same column and then convert that column into timestamp so for that first let's try to import that to timestamp function so two underscore so let me try to use two underscore shift and uh, control space to get intelligence two timestamp so i imported the two timestamp here and now what i will be doing i will be using this two timestamp function here for this function i am passing my column so from my data frame to take this uh, timestamp so let me do control z take this let me copy this column name take this column and in that column my data is in this format first starting it is like month then dot date then dot year then we have hours dot minutes dot seconds so this is the format in which it is there so now this entire code will generate a new data frame let's try to save it in data frame 3 and then finally let's try to do data frame 3 dot show function and truncate equals to false and similarly let's try to use print schema function as well so here truncate equals to false and then data frame 3 dot print schema function so i can use print schema function okay so now let me hit shift enter to execute this command so command executed successfully now if you see here the two timestamp in string column became timestamp type and if you see the data is showing in a default format type year month and date but before it is in a different format and it was in a string so now we used this two underscore timestamp function and we specified in which format it is so that it can understand that and convert that back to timestamp type okay so not only the this there are let's try to use this data frame one maybe so on data frame one we have only two columns right current timestamp and id column so you can see here id and current timestamp columns so what i can do is uh, from data frame one let's try to select all columns and there are couple of functions called maybe you want to take out only hours minutes and seconds so there are couple of functions for it so let's try to import that first here so let me so there is a function called hour there is a function called minute and also there is a function called second okay so i imported three functions there and here what i can do to the hour function i can pass my from data frame one let's pass this current timestamp column okay and take out only hours from it and uh, i want to give a alias name for that column as hour okay so similarly i can pass another column i can create another column using this minute function from data frame one take this time current timestamp column and give the minutes back and for that column i am using alias to give a column name like minute comma then maybe second function okay second is a function that will from the current timestamp or from the timestamp column it will take out the seconds and i am using alias name for this column as well called 
seconds okay so finally let's try to show this and while showing let's try to use truncate equals to false so let me hit shift enter to execute this entire code and if you closely observe if i scroll down completely you can see we got hours minutes and seconds using this hour function minute function and second function i am able to take out these hours minutes and seconds successfully so these are few functions uh, are which are majorly used in real time when you are working with timestamps i hope i covered them so try to watch this video multiple times if you are not getting it because these functions are very useful so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much